back in the Moor Mountains again for my second PCT Shakedown hike. And today I'm actually trying out a few new things. If you watched my last Shakedown hike, you might already notice a few things different about my setup. So first of all, big shout out to my friend Leon who has lent me his Garmin InReach Mini. This saved me a few hundred pounds, so I'm very grateful of that. So and I've also constructed myself a shoulder water bottle carry thingy majiggery bob. I made this one myself and it is a bit shite so if you have any recommendations for one of these then please let me know because this is doing my head in. And I suppose the biggest new thing that I'm trying out this time on this trip is my new trekking poles. Really excited about these. These are the Fees and Compact trekking poles. Um, yeah, my last trekking pole was Twist and Lock and I had no issues with it. Uh, but this is the first time I've had two trekking poles. I usually only use one, so that's been really interesting so far. Another thing I'm testing out today is the Njinji liners underneath my darn tough socks. Apparently that's a really good combo for preventing blisters. And I don't usually get any blisters with my Lone Peaks, but uh, I thought I'd try this out anyway, and it's it's been really comfy. And another new thing that I'm trying is I've switched from the Polycryo footprint to a Tyvek one. I have no issues with the Polycry Polycryo, despite its reputation of being really breakable. I've used it plenty of times, but I just thought like long term, it'd be good to get something that is a bit sturdier. So that's why I'm trying out Tyvek. And I'm also trying and you might be able to see here uh, a new position for my solar panel. Uh, I know that this is very controversial um, and so many people have judged me for it, um, but it's coming. I'm definitely taking it. I have used this on quite a few trips before with great success and you know, it's not, I haven't just sort of decided, oh, I'm going to get a solar panel and you know, it's going to be great. Like I am aware of its limitations. This guy. Flip. I would not trust myself running on that wall. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, with the um, yeah with the solar panel, like I am really aware of its limitations, uh, and I have used it before. So I'm going to start out the PCT with it and see how it goes. And sure, worst case scenario, I can just uh, get rid of it. But yep. So that's another thing. I'm and that's about it, really. Um, yeah, since my last uh, shakedown hike, I went through a bit of a wobble with my tent um, and thought about changing back to my MSR, but I've decided I'm going to give the Illusion tent another go because it is a great tent. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to give it another go. Uh, I really, really, really want to like it as much as the MSR, so we'll see how I get on tonight with that. Uh, it is going to get really cold tonight. It's going to potentially be minus five I think up here so it's already really cold in the mountains uh so yeah it'd be good to just check my gear uh check that it'll keep me warm enough uh yeah so here we go Woo. this water bottle What's doing? I had it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually icicles. That's it's bitter. It's very bitter. It's just tough going. It is tough going. Today I'm uh, up this mountain for the second time today. This is Sleeve Burner. It is uh, just over 700 meters, I think. And my face is numb. It is very cold. Uh, the view is amazing from here. Look at it. So I'm hoping to camp up here. Um, there's a couple of flat spots I found. So yeah, fingers crossed for that. Uh, I've, I think I spent more time on my bum today than my feet because if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is like super steep here, very rocky. So yeah, I've uh, put the trekking poles away for this part. Uh, it's pretty steep, but yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good hike. I must say like, I am 
dead. <laughs> it has been really challenging. It's been a lot of up and down today, but it's good practice. Good practice uh, getting the mountain legs ready. Uh, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been really good so far. So I'm looking forward to getting some food into me. Starving. Marvin's. I'm trying my old school earphones with a little adapter for my iPhone. Uh, just as it's one less thing to charge uh, compared to my AirPods, uh, and I don't, I don't like always listen to music and stuff while hiking. But now and again, you know, when the going's tough, and the the going is tough, so I'm actually listening to Journeys North at the minute, um, and I'm going to be staying with um, Scout and Frodo, uh, these legendary trail angels that host hikers in San Diego. I'm going to be spending my first two nights with them, so. Uh, I've already listened to uh, Scout's book, but I'm listening to it again, and it's very good. Uh, and that's another thing I have got, I uh, finally got around to getting an Audible subscription. Uh, I was so stingy, because I didn't want to have to pay a subscription, but yeah, I've got that, so uh, I can listen to some books while on trail. Uh, so that's something, you know, something new for me. <sighs> Camping, but I don't know, it's not. There's a couple of flat spots down there, uh, but I think I'm gonna try and head down here and see what that's like. happy to be set up now. I can't wait to get cozy and make some food. Amazing. How's that for a view? And it makes it all so worth it. Like I just love being out here so much. I'm having such a good time. And I'm really honestly, I think the Illusion 10 is growing on me. We'll see tonight what the condensation is like, but I'm, I'm really happy uh, to have it with me today. Uh, I think, yeah, I, was, I feel like I was a wee bit unfair to it, maybe in my last test, but yeah, I'm really happy to have it. So, I'm mm, gonna make some dinner now and get cozy and have an early night. <laughs> it is very cold. I reckon tonight's probably gonna test the limits of my setup. It's already pretty icy up here there's wee patches of snow so i think it's gonna get really cold tonight because i'm at about uh, 700 meters or so so it's pretty high um but yeah today's hike went pretty well there is like i think something i'm really struggling with at the minute is how useless my hands become when they get cold like i mean they go completely numb ah! my tent is like keeping in on me um and that worries me a little bit like even just putting the pump sack onto my thermo rest like i really struggled to get it on because my hands just like yeah they get so cold and like yeah it makes things really difficult uh so that's yeah one thing that's bothering me but yeah hopefully um when my new gloves arrive uh, hopefully my hands stay a bit warmer but I was wearing like quite good gloves today I brought ski gloves and yeah my hands just really struggle with the cold but otherwise yeah everything works pretty well apart from my flipping shite little uh, water bottle holder I definitely need to do something about that because that was doing my head and um, everything went pretty well so I'm pretty shattered as you can tell but yeah, I think I'm going to definitely sleep well tonight.
not too good on my feet for some reason. Here we are at the end of another successful shakedown hike. Um, flip me, I asked for hard conditions and I flipping got them last night. It was tough, it was pretty brutal camping out last night on top of that mountain. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe minus six or minus seven Celsius uh, and it snowed and stuff. But um, okay, so things that I learned, things that were good, things that were bad, still sleep system, Enlightened equipment, uh, quilt, thermo rest, uh, seat and bike liner, seat to summit pillow, just solid. I'm really happy with that. Like I just could hardly believe that I stayed warm when it was so cold. So really chuffed with that. Um, backpack, I'm chuffed with that. This, flipping not chuffed with that. Please someone recommend a water bottle carrier cause that's doing my head in. Cook system, really chuffed with that. Okay, tent, no, I flip me. Okay, when I'm out walking and I've got that tent in my bag, I think, thank goodness I brought the trekking pole tent because uh, it's just it's so light. Um, but I have to say, last night, I really was wishing I had my MSR tent because although I must say the condensation was a lot less. So thank you to everyone who recommended not camping beside a water source. It was definitely a lot less condensation, but there was still condensation and the quilt did get a bit wet and it was a bit soggy. And it's just, there's not enough room to move about in it when I'm like packing up and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I just, I miss my MSR tent. So I think I'm gonna stick with that. But all in all, I think like that was really successful. Like I feel pretty confident. Like, oh, the Injinji toe socks, uh, super, super comfy, really like them. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I have to add really. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, my next shakedown hike, I think I'm gonna bring both tents and set them up beside each other. And yeah, just get a feel for like, you know, what I'm gonna feel happier in which obviously is the MSR but you know I have to accept the weight penalty for that so yeah I guess I guess that's everything for this video so until next time thank you for watching and goodbye